So what do I've got on the wrist today? Just keeping it easy, this Mission to Pluto, this Omega Swatch watch with a red strap. Just keeping it easy, been having a lot of fun with it. I think it's an awesome buy. This is gonna be a quick one. I wanna talk about the two-tone Daytonas. What I'm referring to specifically is the 116503 in yellow gold two-tone. This is the plain Jane pre-ceramic with the black dial. Absolute classic. Also to mention that this is $11,000 less than what a Panda dial ceramic, that is, would cost you pre-owned. This is new, it costs less. It's not hard to get, let's get into it. Now, if you're a watch enthusiast, watch lover, and you've been watching Watch Society videos, firstly, thank you, appreciate it. And secondly, this is called the Daytona. It's not a sub, not a GMT, it's the pinnacle. No matter what version you get, it is still the top of what Rolex offers today. So this is the 116503 two-tone Daytona in stainless steel and gold with the black dial. And in the spirit of Christmas, I think this is a really nice buy. If you've been thinking, the idea is that if you wanna gift yourself something, or if you want to maybe give it to one of your loved ones i think this is best buy i think this is good value for money it's an elegant watch it's sporty at the same time it's pretty ceramic so it's got that classic twist you just wouldn't go wrong with it so let's not forget that but the big question the big elephant in the room here why would you even go two-tone right i think two-tone is badass i think two-tone is the physical embodiment of what play hard work hard means i mean look at this watch this is awesome man i think this offers actually more than what the stainless steel would offer you right so if you want that classic look it's the plug for different occasions so you got that suit on you got that work occasion or you got that special occasion as well and you want something classic i think pre-ceramic creams classic over the ceramic stainless steel that is secondly it looks a lot more expensive than what it actually costs i mean 19 to twenty thousand dollars what you'll be looking at if you go the pre-owned brand new route from an aftermarket dealer but guess what right now right now in this specific time we're in, you can negotiate for even a better price, right? I've heard of people picking up this watch for like sixteen, fifteen thousand dollars even, which is not far away from retail. And I genuinely think Rolex makes some kick-ass classics, man. You can't go wrong with the classics, especially the pre-ceramic stuff. I've talked to a few people who had a good run with some ridiculously expensive watches. We're talking Patek Philippe, uh, Richard Mille, you've gone over Patek Philippe, just name them, right? But once that service char kicks in, once you decide, you know what, I want to change the strap and you start looking at what a strap for Richard Mill would cost, then you'll be talking about, hey, Rolex is not bad after that, right? And then you've come down to Rolex at the end, whether it be this variation or even the full rose gold or the full yellow gold version, right? The idea is that you don't want this crazy spend on delicate makes. You want something that is easy every day. And that's what Rolex offers you at the end of the day. Nothing beats its reliability. Nothing beats its value, especially the pre-ceramic stuff. I absolutely think it's timeless. And that's why I think Rolex will still be the end game for most and even if the claim is that it's a boring watch i think that's because it's probably the most copied watch on earth it's iconic in that sense for me this rolex daytona isn't a boring watch i gave it a chance and i started to notice all the small details like the red on the dial and how it all works together it's a matter of taste at the end of the day it's your specific taste and nobody else but if you had the chance to pay a crazy premium for a stainless steel Daytona or picking up this for closer to what its retail would cost, which one would you go for? Let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Hi, they're going lower now. They're dropping? They're, they're dropping they like no tomorrow, bro.